Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, you see the title of the video here. These are actually the real episodes of Season 5 of Dark Side of the Ring that comes out in March. Uh, basically, long story short, uh, the last video I did on this, um, I thought the episodes they were showing there were legit. Some of them are. Some of them that were mentioned there are on here as well. But there are some that are uh, not. Like the Kurt Angle one. That's not going to happen. Somebody obviously got some false information. You know, they thought maybe that's what we were going to get, but that didn't happen. So, it's it's not that one. It's not going to be, you know, we're not going to have a Kurt Angle one. You know, we're not going to have a Kurt Angle one or anything. Um, But, we are going to have some of them that were mentioned. And I'm going to uh, get into those uh, right now. I'm going to get into those right now, I should say, as soon as I uh, go to the right site that gives me the uh, the date as to when it's coming out. Here we go. It's going to be... Now, what they say here is a trailer came out, so it's on YouTube, but they say the new trailer for Season 5 Dark, of Dark Side of the Ring has been revealed. Oh, the, let me reread that. It says, the new trailer for Season 5 of Dark Side of the Ring has been revealed. New season starts March 5th. And here are the 10 episodes we will get. Because we didn't get 10 exactly on the first initial one. But we are getting 10 here. And these are the actual episodes. These are the actual actual episodes. And again, some of them were in the last video. Or were in the last list uh, that was posted. Some of them, you know, some of them that were on that list are not going to happen. Like, like I said, Kurt Angle, that's not going to happen. Apparently somebody got false information. Or that might be something they have planned for a season six or something. We're not really sure. But the rest of these are going to happen. The rest of these are going to happen. And the episodes are, you know, they're going to be, are, The Sandman. We knew that one was coming. They talked about that uh, in the last one, uh, in the last video, basically. Um, on the last list, the original list that was put up. That's a that's an episode that's actually going to happen. That's an episode that's actually going to happen. Uh, another episode's going to be on Earthquake, John Tenta. That's right, John Tenta, Earthquake, otherwise known as the Shark, you know, an avalanche in WCW. He's getting an episode. Um, that's one we didn't know about, but now we do. Harley Race is getting an episode. We knew about that one. Buff Bagwell's getting an episode. We knew about that. Brutus Beefcake, we also knew about that. Chris Adams, we knew about that. You know, so those are episodes we knew of. And then here's one that fans were hoping for, and they're going to finally get it. Sensational Sherry, Sherry Martell, or Queen Sherry, or Centurious Sherry. She's getting an episode. Terry Gordy of the Fabulous Freebirds and the Murder Violence Connection in WCW and Old Japan and New Japan. Terry Gordy. Uh, Terry Bam Bam Gordy, he's getting an episode. Black Saturday, the uh, you know the event where WC where WWF and Vince McMahon bought up Georgia Championship Wrestling and W you know the which was basically the mid early eighties version of WCW. Um, that that black that Black Saturday event's going to get covered. And then here's what's interesting: you get one that's called Chris Colt, and from what I understand, this Chris Colt guy. You know, this Chris Colt, this Chris Colt guy was, uh, I guess you could say, you know, living, I, I, I'm assuming lived his, um, you know, he lived his life and everything, you know, the way we saw it, the way people saw it, you know, he was a rocker, kind of like a gun, I, 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 you know, he was something, I, I could say, you know, I could say that, um, you know, so, so that's going to be interesting. He's well. I, I'm assuming he's a a talent. From what I understand, he's a talent. Chris Cole is a talent that you know was before my time. Like he started in the '60s, you know, and said he started in the '60s and everything. But he was before my time um, as a wrestling fan. In fact, I think somebody did link it. You know. You know, somebody did link it. Now, the episodes they're not doing, like I said, a Kurt Angle and Mike Awesome. I don't know if they have... I, I don't know what the issue is with Mike Awesome. You know, that could be something they do for Season 6. 
Kurt Angle, I could see them doing for a season, or we could see that as its own um, individual special. But uh, yeah, that's. But yeah, these are the episodes that are coming. You know, these are the episodes that are coming, and you know, on March fifth, my my assumption, my assumption, is we're going to start probably with Sandman. We we'll probably start with Sandman. And if I was to be a guessing man, maybe I'm wrong, but if I was to be a guessing man, I'd say we're either going to end with Black Saturday or we're going to end with Sensational Sherry. It'll be one of those two. Chris Colt, I think, could be the opening one. You know, it could be the opening one to kind of set the tone of what Dark Side of the Ring is about. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But again, the topics they're going to be talking about are the Sandman, Earthquake, Harley Race, Buff Bagwell, Brutus Beefcake, Chris Adams, Sensational Sherry, Sensuous Sherry, Queen Sherry, Sherry Martell, Terry Gordy, Black Saturday Event, and Chris Colt. So those are episodes to uh, look forward to in the future and everything. And again, I don't know much about Chris Colt. I don't think anybody else does. And that's, that's the one thing about Dark Side of the Ring. You know, they're gonna, they will talk about people you may or may not know about. And uh, I think if I type him up here, I think, you know, you could find it linked. You know, let's see. Chris, Chris Colt. There we go. Uh, Chris Colt. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, he passed away in the mid 90s. We know that. But um, his na real name was Charles F. Harris, best known as Chris Colt, was an American professional wrestler. He was best known for his team with Ronnie Dupree as the California Hells Angels, as well as his rock, uh, his rock and roll, as well as his rock and roll lifestyle and character. And it looks like he was kind of a hardcore wrestler um, as well. Um, he says he it shows a picture of him working with Ronnie Dupree. And he went under the name Paul Dupree. Um, they were associated with the Arizona Athletic Association promotion. They were the NWA Gulf Coast Tag Team Champions and the big time wrestling's equivalent of the NWA World Tag Team Champions. Um, he teamed with, you know, he teamed before his team with Ronnie. He teamed with Jim Dillinger as, you know, he teamed with he teamed. Uh, with dog, he teamed with Doug Fargo, um, known as Jack Dillinger. He teamed with him as Jim Dillinger as the Chain Gang, winning the NWA Tag Team Championship, World Tag Team Championship. Um, he also used his popular ring name Chris Colt, which was taken from the, which was taken from the gay pornography company Colt Studios. He's won the NWA Texas Tag Team Championships with Bobby Dumkin. He also won singles gold in NWA Mississippi. With the heavyweight title, Big Bear Promotions North American Heavyweight title four times, and the NWA Mid American Heavyweight Championship two times. Let's see. He said he, after his partner passed away, he used the Chris Colt name following that, uh, and he adopted a rock and roll esque character, which was true to his lifestyle. He idolized the likes of Joe Cocker uh, and Janis Joplin. So, let's see. It said, um, his interest music would be Welcome to My Nightmare by Alice Cooper. As it, that was his interest music, his theme song. He suffered from drug issues and was once fired from competing in England as the American Dream because of unreliability. It says here, an, uh, a fame, an infamous incident took place in Phoenix, in Phoenix of 1975. When Colt was wrestling inside a steel cage, before the cage, he had ingested the drug Peyota, uh, P E Y O T E, Peyota, and this caused Colt to climb into the ring high, where he was hallucinating about spiders all over the structure. He panicked and started brawling with fans and security as he fled the arena. It says, due to Colt's drug issues, he was said to never work sober. But promoters saw no issue as he could still draw heat from the audience. It says in 1986, Harris wrapped up his career 
in Alabama as the neo-Nazi Chris Von Colt, but continued to compete until the following year for Pacific Northwest Wrestling. Once wrestling was over, Colt, was, Colt who was openly gay, starred in gay porn movies, uh, examples Sex Aggression, uh, Sex Aggression, Jack Husky's First Night right, at, Colt, at Chris Colt's Wrestling Academy, and was rumored to become a born-again Christian in 1990. It says here he passed away from AIDS in, on May 28, 1995, at the age of 48, at a homeless shelter in Seattle, Washington. It said many, report his, the, many, many reports list his year of death as 96, but his gravestone reads 95. Uh, Ed Moondog Morete uh, stated that he could honestly say Colt was one of the greatest workers he's ever seen. He'd rank him right up there with Ray Stevens and Pat Patterson. Politics, paranoia, and just Chris being Chris kept him from being, or kept him from the big, big money, but they could not keep him from greatness. So yeah, that's uh, that's what one of the uh, uh, databases, um, I think it's called Dead Wrestlers Fa uh, Fandom, uh, says about Chris Colt. So that's basically who Chris Colt is, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to explore a lot of that in his episode and again i'm thinking that's either going to begin the series or it might even be one that ends it or is right or it's going to be used as a mid-season finale we'll have to see but yeah those are the episodes coming up for dark side of the ring uh, season five the actual episodes i should say uh let me know which one you're looking forward to down below in the comment section as well in the live chat during the premiere like the video uh again no kurt angle no mike awesome but the ones we're getting, you know, Sensational Sherry, you know, um, you know, Sensational Sherry, Harry, uh, being one that I'm looking forward to, uh, Buff Bagwell, of course, you know, Harley Race, you know, is one, Sandman, I mean, there's, there's going to be plenty here, Chris Adams, there's going to be plenty, so again, let me know what your thoughts are, you know, what you're looking forward to the most, and until next time, guys, I'll talk to y'all later.